The help system in AutoCAD 2013 has changed, so let's have a look and see how that might affect us. We'll select help from right here, and this will take us to not only the help system, but the quick links for other learning resources as well. Let's focus on help. Now what you'll notice is that this works essentially like a search engine at a web browser. So if we type in the command that we're interested in, let's say pline in this case, that will go ahead and return back to us a results list that we can scroll through and, and click, which would contain other support resources within it. Now by default, your search for pline in this case has gone through all documentation that's hosted, but you can narrow the search by selecting either simply developer or administrator or just user resources. So your search result would actually be just a little faster. Once you've found the subject that you want and have read through it, you may want to add that to your favorites. So you can do that right here. And you can always return to the top level of the help interface by clicking on the home icon. You can then scroll back through your list to find other resources and you'll see that your favorites list has been maintained as you've added to it from the favorites icon here. Now, the only thing about this that is unstated is that you have to have an internet connection to be able to really use this system. So there is a way that we can use help locally, which we'll be going over in one of the next segments in the series.